Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I am doing a paid review. Paid review. Paid review, guys. This is a paid review. I like the paid reviews. That keeps me full-time on YouTube. It's a birthday review. 22 QB61. This is for Stuart. And this is for a friend of his, I believe. Uh, now, let me read you the specs before we start that quick wristwatch check. Rolex, Rolex Sky Dweller. Okay, let's jump straight in. Jim, his friend's name is Jim. Jim's 50th birthday message from Stu and Vicky. Well, he's mentioned his last name. Let's just do it. It's Jim. Oh, we better not mention last names. So, happy birthday from Stu and Vicky. An important note, please, Paul. It's his big day on Sunday, the 24th of July. Please don't upload video until then, as his mum has got him a blank pane 50 fathoms bathyscope for his 50th. And it'll be a total surprise. So, don't want to spoil it. Jim buys his watches from Pragnell in Stratford upon Avon. Birthplace of Shakespeare, as do I. Jim's been enjoying watches for over 25 years and has some nice pieces. He's just a normal working man, so feels privileged to have what he has. Okay, let's go through some of his watches. The first watch is a Panerite Pam 113, he's had for over 15 years, wasn't a hot watch at the time, as white face watches weren't the thing, but Jim always buys what he really likes, wants and likes and has never followed the hype. He loves that watch and will never part with it. Watch 2, a Rolex Deep Sea, he's been everywhere and done everything everything with that watch watch three rolex sub marina hulk uh, watch four rolex explorer 2 42 mil polar he loved your review on this watch so he bought one as did i his 90 year old granddad bought him that as his inheritance so he'll always have something to remember him by Another treasured watch he'll have forever. Watch 5 is an Omega Seamaster, a daily beater like the Deep Sea. Watch 6, Omega Moon Watch, Man on the Moon, last of the big box Halsalite version. He always wanted one. Wears it on a black NATO strap. Watch 7, The Surprise, a blank pane, 50 fathoms off his mum, Diane, for his 50th birthday july 24th so please don't spoil the surprise paul his family are hard working normal people and work hard for what they have always use pragnell for our watches and absolutely love your reviews many thanks stuart stew stew i just want to say firstly a big happy birthday to jim Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. Okay, 50th birthday. I myself am turning 50 this year. The big 5-0. It's getting, you know, it's getting a bit serious. We're getting old, but 50, how do I feel? You know, I got to tell you, everyone, you know, they knocks their 40s, but I loved it. I loved it when I was turning, turned 40, everything improved. 50, I hope is no different. I actually, I'm turning 50 in October, October 23. And I've already got my, my watch, which was given to me, Bondage and Discipline, one of the greatest fans a YouTube celebrity can have. And I got to tell you, it means so much to me, this watch. 
it means so much to me. I love this watch. And I got to be totally honest with you. This watch itself, I actually, it's funny you say this, I actually put a lot of meaning into watches that I've acquired. And the watches that mean the most to me are the ones that were special occasions. The big special, I mean, I, I had my first Rolex I bought at 18. Yes, I would have loved to have that now. Obviously, that was stolen by the Chicago Mafia. Uh, I'll never get that back. Uh, and I've, I've gone down a certain route. Watch I bought, I got a, for my 40th, I got a Jager Lucultra Reverso. Absolutely stunning watch. I still have it. That's my Reverso. And I've got, I've got my... Paddock 5035. I got that. I refinanced my car and I had to sell it for personal reasons. I had, I was short of money and I managed to buy it back. That exact same watch, not the exact same model, the exact watch. Very fortunate and it means a lot to me. So I've got to be honest with you there. It's fantastic to have watches that you don't flip or sell and that, that's how I am now. I really don't like flip, sell, all of these things. I want to I want to enjoy the watches for myself. It's very important to me. And I've got to be, be honest with you. Um, I think too many people come in and they're, they're flipping, but... I, I find the hobby, I really enjoy it. Keep. Don't necessarily go crazy and buy a lot, but don't sell anything. And I've come to that milestone now, and I'm, I'm seriously, nothing I've got is for sale. Now, i got to say, so i got to tell you, Jim, what a fabulous birthday call out there. You're surrounded by people who love you, surrounded by people who've, bought you beautiful things, man. That is real wealth. Your health and your family is the most important thing. I'm shocked. What a fantastic present. So let's just go through this review. I notice you really love your divers. And I got to say, I completely get it. And it's funny. You mentioned the PAM 113. I love a white dial PAM. For some reason, the black has always been the most more popular but you know the original pams were black or white i remember i was working for a watch dealer years ago and he had a salesman sample from the 1940s and it had two dials a black dial and a white dial so they were quite uh, in the day this is when it was the rolex movement pams my god that thing would be worth a fortune today but i, I never had the money to buy it and very very fascinating piece so let's go through so watch one is a pam 113 i think you know what i i i had i had i had i've had a pam 24 uh submersible i quite love pams i do love pams and i could certainly get another one that's for sure i think the pams are a good I don't think you need a lot of Pams but to have a Pam in a diving collection is is cool the deep sea I mean what can you say this is the ultimate Rolex diver big chunky monkey this is it this is it uh, fabulous watch they are uh, just I think they've got a lot of scope and they're the most the biggest the baddest Rolex ever made there uh, and I can see you've taken it everywhere then you've got a Hulk wow lucky lucky for you the Hulk that's a that's a very collectible watch but besides the money it's also a beautiful commemorative Rolex uh, you've got an Explorer 2 I you know what I love 
the 42 mil Explorer 2. I think that is a really, I love the Explorer 2. It's just, to me, I think it's impossible to read 24 hour time with a rotating bezel. I like a fixed steel bezel and that's exactly, it pays homage to my first Rolex ever, which was an Explorer 1. So that, that's, that's the other reason I love the Explorer 2s. Again, white dial. How many sports watches can you get with a white dial? And I, I love a bit of variation. So that's, that's a great watch. They've become actually very popular. They were doggy, and now that's the hot Explorer 2. Um, so you've also, his 90-year-old 90 grandfather bought him, um, watch, his 90-year-old grandfather bought him this as his inheritance. Wow. Um... Watch 5, Amiga Seamaster. I love the Amigas. Watch 6, a Moonwatch. Man, you've got some really classic, classic, classic things. And finally, Watch 7. What a great present. A blank pane, 50 fathoms, Bathyscope. Bathyscape, I should say. Uh, for your 50. What an amazing... I love... I mean, that's probably the... the 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 ultimate uh, luxury when it gets to um, what's the the top end blank pain blank pain fifty fathoms what a wonderful wonderful watch I love I love the theme you've got a very much a diving theme there um, man what a beautiful wonderful collection how can you not love that you very lucky man. Congratulations on the blank pain, I've got to say to you. I always say with the blank pain, I think you need to have a Rolex before you get the blank pain. If I had a choice of a blank pain, I think a blank pain is a more refined watch. You've got to cover your Rolex base, but once you've covered Rolex, what an amazing piece to add. So I, I think that is a wonderful collection. You've got a lot of scope there. And I, I like the way the white dial, you love the white dials. I agree. You know, I must admit, um, I nearly bought a Pam. I think it was a 113. It was a white dial Pam. And it, the only thing that didn't have was box or papers. And I, uh, I just... I just, it, if it had a box and papers, I would have pulled the trigger. And it was a cool watch. It was a very cool. I love Pams. I love Pams. So, I, would I get a Pam again? You know what? I think I would do Pam again. Uh, blank Pam. Man, you were so lucky to get a Blank Pam. My God, what a lucky boy. For, and... 50th, my God, what a wonderful birthday, man. I hope you all the happiness. Friends, family, man, what more do you, what more do you need? You've got it all. Add slowly. I love these collections where people add slowly. You know, you have these people who are super rich. They just buy this, buy, boom, 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 boom. It just looks like a department store, you know, upmarket boutique. But someone who works hard for their money. And then the every watch means so much to them. It's like the guy who has one Ferrari who knows everything about the prancing horse. He knows every idiocy. He knows everything. Whereas the guy who's got 10 Ferraris, oh, yeah, I only buy the limited edition ones, only the really, really special one. Da, da, da. He's not, I don't think he loves his Ferraris more than the guy with one who doesn't give a shit if it's a Mondial or a, um, a Dino. He doesn't care. The V8, Dino, you know, less desirable V8. He doesn't give a shit. He just loves the Prince, the Ferrari. He loves Ferrari. And that's the same thing with this collection here. I love the love for these watches. It's, it's, it's amazing. So congratulations. Happy 50th. And I hope you, you keep watching the Archie Luxury channel. Okay, guys. See you later, guys. Remember, 50 US dollars for a paid review and birthday. Birthday call out. Come on, guys. This is a great way to share your love with friends and family. I can't survive on Google Ads and getting a paid review is the ultimate way 
to share the love. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. And also remember, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to sponsor me as little as a dollar a month to keep me full time on YouTube. Okay, guys, see you later. Hi, guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands. New and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.